Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Really interesting question today, in the same way this is like relaxing question, we have 10 plus 20 divided by 2 and plus 4. On the first side this is like very easy question because everyone knows about this addition, division, we have once more addition right here, so everyone learns this stuff in the in the third grade, so everyone knows about this mass operation, everyone knows about this 20, we have 10, we have 20, we have 2, so everyone knows about these numbers, this is not like a complicated expression with parentheses, with exponents, we see huge powers right here. We have like a really great regular expression. So here's a question to you. What is the correct answer right here? We have right here three options A, B and C. So right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It will be really interesting to check our answers here in just in just one minute. It will be really great to check our answers. So what do you think is the correct answer? This is up to you, choose one option, what do you think is a correct. But before solving this, I want to start with this solution. So we have 10 plus 20, I just wanted to rewrite this question. So we have 10 plus 20 divided by 2 and plus plus 4. So here is our question. And one part of students solve it like that. This is like the most common solution I've ever seen. A lot of students solve it like that. They say, okay, 10 plus 20 from left to right, we have 10 plus 20 equal to, we have 30. 30, we still have this division on the right hand side, so 30 divided by 2 plus 4, which is equal to 30 divided by 2 from left to right, as you can see right here using this logic. So 30 divided by 2 equal to 15 and 15 plus 4 equal to equal to 19. This is the most popular solution I've ever seen and right now I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. A lot of students solve it like that and this is maybe the most common solution I have ever seen. And let's separate this solution with, with another one because right here this is like a chaotic solution. This is not like a math solution, this is not like a great math solution because right here we jump, right here we start addition, then division, then once more addition. So we don't care about order of operation, we just go from left to right and we don't care about a correct order order of operation. This is like the most popular solution and let's try to know, let's try to think how, what is the correct order to do this problem because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So if we start from division, addition, addition, we will have one answer, addition, division, this addition from right to left, another answer, but in mass we need to know what is the one and only one correct answer. And for this question let's try to look at this uh, PMDMC, this is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. Okay, and let's solve this question according to this, of course, correct order of operation, because this is like a chaotic order of operation. And let's check this solution with this PMDMC. Maybe we'll have the same 19, I don't know exactly, but let's let's solve this, okay? So we have 10, we have plus 20 divided by 2 and plus 4. So here is our question and let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. Uh, it works from the top to the bottom and we need to start uh, go through the steps right here. So the first step according to PMDMC it's parentheses, yeah? But if you look closely to this, I don't see any parentheses, we don't have any parentheses, which is, which is really great, yeah? We don't have any parentheses and we reject this step, we skip this step of course, yeah? Okay, let's go to the next step. Next step according to PMDMC is exponents. Exponents are exponents, yeah? Let's look at it. Why do we have this exponents right here? I don't see any of those. We don't have any square scoops right here. We have all like regular numbers, which is which is really good for us. So we just we just skip this part because with exponent this question will be like more complicated for us. For example, imagine you have 20 to the power 10, for example, you need to raise this at first, and then only then you need to go to the next step. Uh, we don't have it, and it's really great. Okay, multiplication and division. This is one common group. A lot of students do this mistake. They say, okay, multiplication, now we need to find multiplication sign, we need to multiply and then division. This is a um, huge mistake according to PMDMC because in PMDMC it doesn't matter. Multiplication, division, this is one common group and you need to find these signs at first. So, addition sign, this is not, a, we are not interested in this. We have division sign, yeah, we're interested in this. But this sign we apply only to these two numbers. So, this is our first step. As you can see, finally we find our first step. We don't have multiplication sign, but with, we have division. So finally we find this, this first step. And saying in another words, as you can see right here we have addition sign, but addition is after division, so this is maybe the main key moment, because a, a division is before addition, so we need to multiply or divide at first, and then you can easily add or subtract. This is very important moment, as you can see this addition and subtraction group, we have addition, we don't have subtraction, but division is before addition all the time, multiplication is before subtraction all the time, so this group is before this group. So first you need to divide it first or add it or multiply it first, then you need to add. Okay, let's do this. So we have 10 
plus 20 divided by 2 equal to 10 and plus 4 which is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 4 equal to 24 and this is a correct solution but a lot of students do this common mistake they solve it correctly in their heads but they go back to this wrong answer 19 because they don't see this 24 we don't have this 24 right here and then one part of students go back to this wrong answer 19 which is absolutely incorrect as i told before multiplication and division group is all, all the time is behind this addition and subtraction so we need to start from multiplication and division and then finally you need to finish this question with addition and addition and subtraction okay so as i told before 19 is absolutely wrong answer but if you look closely to this option because uh, correct answer is 24 as i told before but if you look closely to this take a look this for factorial take a look closely for factorial equal to a product from 1 to 4 we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 which is equal to 6 times 4 we have 24 so it's, the, it's a, like a tricky question because this for factorial this is the same as 24 yeah so our correct answer according to this test is option c but according to this question this is 24 so i hope you understand this explanation i hope you enjoy this video i hope you learn something new and see you in the next videos. I wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.